meet the first vehicle to be crash tested in Australia to score a zero star safety rating. The Mitsubishi Express van, a rebadged version of the Renault Traffic, has been issued the lowest safety rating ever applied to a vehicle in Australia. The zero star rating by the Australasian New Car Assessment Program is the lowest safety score issued in the 28 year history of the independent authority. Despite the shock result, representatives for both car companies said there are no plans to withdraw the Mitsubishi Express or Renault Traffic from sale locally. Both vehicles combined accounted for about 10% of all new mid-size delivery vans sold in Australia last year. Previous examples of the worst safety scores include a one-star rating issued to the previous Mitsubishi Express in 2007, a one-star rating issued to the Proton Jumbuck Ute in 2008, a one-star rating issued to the Jeep Wrangler in 2018, a two-star rating issued to a Great Wall Motors Ute in 2009, and a two-star rating issued to the Ford Mustang in 2017. The Mitsubishi Express was tested to the latest safety criteria after being introduced as a new model in the middle of 2020. Although it's based on the Renault Traffic Van, which earned a three-star rating in Europe in 2015, rebadged vehicles are only eligible to share the donor car's safety result if introduced within two years of the original model. The Renault Traffic and rebadged Mitsubishi Express vans are identical except for the design of the plastic bumper and the badge on the grill, both of which are not critical to crash performance. The Renault and Mitsubishi vans share the same body structure, which is at the core of crash safety. The Renault Traffic is currently unrated in Australia and not listed on the ANCAP website. However, a passenger version of the van tested in Europe in 2015 was given a three-star safety score against the criteria at the time. ANCAP and its European affiliate raise safety standards every two years, which partly explains the anomaly in the star ratings between the structurally identical Mitsubishi and Renault vans. However, vans introduced before and since the Renault traffic, such as the Ford Transit in 2012 and the Toyota Hiace in 2019, proving it is possible for a commercial van to earn top safety marks against a range of criteria. A series of crash tests in Australia from October 2020 to January 2021 showed the adult occupant protection offered by the Mitsubishi Express had marginal protection for the driver's chest and upper legs and adequate protection for the lower legs. Protection was rated as good for other critical body regions. In a side impact pole test, chest protection for the driver was rated as marginal and a penalty was applied because the latch on the cargo sliding door disengaged on impact. In another side impact test, the cargo sliding door deformed and created a large opening. Another penalty was applied in one of the crash tests due to an uninflated area of the driver's side curtain airbag. The results from five crash tests involving four vehicles led to the Mitsubishi Express earning a score of 55% for occupant protection, the equivalent of a two-star rating if assessed in isolation to today's standards. By comparison, the most recent van to be awarded a five-star safety rating, the current Toyota Hiace, earned a score of 94% for occupant protection. After the Mitsubishi Express scored just 7% for safety assistance technology, it earned a zero star score. Under the latest ANCAP safety criteria, a vehicle's overall star rating is determined by the weakest score from a series of tests. The Mitsubishi Express was penalised heavily for a lack of crash avoidance technology, such as autonomous emergency braking, blind zone warning, and rear cross traffic alert, features which are increasingly becoming standard on most new vehicles. It's worth noting the Renault Traffic and the rebadged Mitsubishi Express both meet Australian design rules and regulatory standards for vans. However, industry experts say Australian design rules are weaker than the latest global safety standards and are set at a comparatively low threshold, which is why ANCAP 
and its international affiliates have become the default crash test authority. Representatives for Mitsubishi and Renault said their vans were designed in accordance with 2015 safety protocols. Industry analysts say commercial vans such as the Renault Traffic and Mitsubishi Express typically have a model life cycle of about 10 years. And these examples in particular are now paying the price for a lack of regular safety updates. To read the full story, go to caradvice.com.au. Be sure to hit like on this video and click subscribe so you don't miss any future updates.